a look at improved eGPU functionality in the latest macOS beta. How's it going ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac and as you can see I have my Mantis Venus external GPU box. Uh, the really cool thing about the latest macOS beta 10.13.4 is that external GPUs, at least the Radeon RX Vega 64 is recognized, actually like the text actually reads Radeon RX Vega 64 when connected. So that's really cool, that's encouraging uh, right off the bat. Well, let me just show you exactly how things work now. Hot plugging works as it should now, at least in most instances. It's still a little buggy, but when you plug in, you don't have to log out anymore. It just works, or at least it should. It's still in beta, obviously. So it doesn't exactly just work yet, but it should just work. That's, that's where Apple is obviously aiming. And in this case, it does work. You just plug it in and no logouts required. It connects to my external display via the eGPU box. Now, what about when you disconnect the external GPU? What if you just unplug the Thunderbolt 3 cable from your MacBook Pro? Let's do it. So it's unplugged, MacBook is still running. You see a new message there at the top of the screen. So similarly to a USB device, macOS wants you to eject the GPU before just pulling out the cable, which is understandable. So we're gonna go ahead and insert the cable again and you notice fires right up, that's, that's pretty cool. No crashes there. Although I have experienced several crashes during my testing, it's working pretty good right now. Uh, there's also a new eject GPU button in the menu bar. So that's how you go about ejecting your GPU if you wanna do so. Pretty cool. So as we stated at the outset, macOS 10.13.4 is actually recognizing the GPU by name. You don't have to go in and edit any names or anything like that. It recognizes this is an RX Vega 64, which makes sense considering that the iMac Pro now sports RX Vega GPUs like the RX Vega 56 and 64. All of that said, graphics performance still isn't very great. This is 1440p, about 43 frames per second, 1080p, 65 frames per second, so still well below that of what you would expect, but it is progress. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.